This is the ultimate guide to everything that you need to know about schematics, acquisitions, and how to get those really rare items inside of Modern Warfare Zombies. I'll be delving into extreme detail in how to unlock every single schematic because now after a week we have a better understanding on how to unlock everything that you need inside of the game. First thing is, a lot of this will be slight challenging so if you do need players to play with then we do have a Discord server linked down in the description that just in the past few days has gained over 1000 brand new members and everybody on there is looking for people to help each other out to look for these schematics so i would definitely recommend joining that and also on top of all of this quickly i need to just say thank you all so freaking much for all the love and attention that this channel has been getting it's amazing to see that i'm able to help out so many of you and even if it is just like the slightest amount of you i just really really appreciate the love that you've been showing to these videos with the likes and even specifically with the subscriptions thank you so much we're on the road to hitting 50 000 subscribers and you're making that wish come true next thing is what are schematics and acquisitions. Here's a really really quick description of what they are if you're still unsure. Acquisitions are the things that you are able to exfil with inside of Modern Warfare Zombies. What this means is you are able to collect a bunch of different loot inside the game but there's only some specific items that once you exfil you get to keep in the next game in your backpack. These items include perks, ether tools, ammo mods, sometimes wonder weapons, and also ether crystals. These are the specific items that you cannot sell inside of Modern Warfare Zombies and you can only exfil with and have for your future games. Then schematics are the things that allow you to basically skip the whole idea of having to go around and loot for these things, but they come at a cost of being on certain times to cool down. This means that once you craft an item with a schematic, you will not be able to craft multiple at the exact same time. Some of them do depend on what they are, so perks are like 3 hours, and then if you have the Raygun schematic, it can take 48 hours as of right now, which I feel like they will change, but 48 hours in between crafting brand new Raygun which is absolutely insane in my opinion. Where do you get these schematics? They're actually locked off in different regions and huge thank you to Donuts on YouTube. I really recommend checking out his channel. He makes some top tier really good zombies content. I will have his channel linked down in the description but thank you so much to him for creating this spreadsheet that you can see on your screen right now. So from the understanding that we have certain locations on the map which is the tier location so there's the outer rim the gray area which is tier one then there's tier two the orange area which is the biggest and then lastly you have tier three which is the most difficult. All of those locations have different schematics and also on top of all this different acquisitions that you can get inside of them. If we're going to quickly talk about the acquisitions, the acquisitions you can kind of get any of them inside of the game. So for example if you want to get the Raygun weapon case which isn't the schematic you can actually get it in tier 1 but it is incredibly rare. You have a higher chance of getting that in tier 2 or tier 3. But also these aren't all of the schematics that you can get. There are also specific schematics that are locked off to missions. If you don't know there are three acts inside of Modern Warfare Zombies as of right now and inside of those acts there are different missions to complete and inside of those missions there are different schematics that you can get. These are the schematics. Uncommon Ether Tool in Act 1 Tier 3, the mission is called Saboteur. Then you can get Quick Revive in Act 1 Tier 5, Chaperone. Cryo Freeze in Act 2 Tier 2, Safe Cracker. Rare Ether Tool Act 2 Tier 5, Exterminator. And the last two, Death Perception in Act 3 Tier 2, the mission is called Two Factor Authentication. And lastly, the Wunderwaffe Schematic specifically you can get in act 3 tier 4 and a mission is called holdout going back to the idea of the spreadsheet there are different schematics that you can find inside of the tier and so inside of tier 1 and 2 I won't be delving too much into these areas just because they are pretty easy if you do slightly struggle with tier 2 for example on solo the best way to do it is since you'll be probably completing a lot of contracts you will be basically getting a bunch of different acquisitions from crystals to perks so I really recommend for you to spawn in with those if you plan to go to tier 2 or just simply try to progress inside of tier 1, collect points, collect perks, pack a punch your weapon and then make your way into tier 2. Something I need to mention as well is these are extremely RNG based so you are not guaranteed to get these and some of them could potentially take you countless attempts to get them but one thing I will tell you is do not give up, you will get it at some stage. What is the best way to get these schematics though? In all of the tiers there's one mission that you can do and get these schematics, they're not actually locked off to specific missions from what I found out. And this mission is the cargo mission. The cargo mission is pretty common to find in tier 1 and 2 and the reason I really recommend for you to do this mission because once you activate this mission all you have to do is transport cargo inside of a vehicle and avoid a chopper and then once you deliver it you are completely done. There's rarely ever any fighting zombies, maybe a tiny bit when you try to get into the vehicle, some humans and zombies to kill but overall it is a super super easy and fast mission to complete and it's really good for points so I really recommend for you to do this mission inside of tier 1 and 2. Now moving
moving over to tier 3, there's kind of like a bit of a curve for me to explain to you how to do all of this effectively to farm those really rare schematics inside of tier 3, because the ones that you can get inside of here are things like the tombstone schematic, raygun schematic, ether crystal schematic, and just overall the really good stuff that you definitely want to get. So how do you do this? There's actually a really easy way of farming the cargo mission inside of here that you can get super easily, but there's quite a bit of a setup to do. Obviously, you don't have to do this setup because there are plenty of videos out there that are like, oh, just go in with your fists and do that, do this. This is probably the safest way to do it if you're a player that just wants to have some backup. So one of the most important aspects of this is the weapon. And the weapon that I recommend for you to use is the crossbow. There's a bit of an issue with using the crossbow, and that is because it's kind of difficult to unlock since it is a Modern Warfare 2 DLC weapon. But the way that you can unlock it inside of Modern Warfare 3 even is number one, multiplayer, getting 50 long shots with a marksman rifle, which can be a bit challenging. Then if you perhaps want to for some other reason, hop onto DMZ, which is a free mode of Modern Warfare 2, and go and kill a boss to get the crossbow and extract with it. Or lastly, the most simple one, simply hop into Modern Warfare Zombies and there are a few options. Number one, you can find it from a mystery box, a crate, a chest, weapon stash, anything like that and extract with it. Or if you know anyone from your friends or maybe perhaps you can find someone in our Discord server that is willing to drop you their crossbow, you can actually pick it up, extract with it straight away and then you can keep it. From here, what you want to do is level it up because there is one attachment that is one of the main reasons I really enjoy using this weapon. The Blast Cap 20 inch bolt which is located in the bolt section of the crossbow and I do believe it is one of the last levels that you need to do. Now on top of all of this I will also mention there is a different weapon that you could use that could replace the crossbow but the reason I don't like using this is because it is a bit of an annoying one and that is the RGL grenade launcher. It doesn't feel as fast and I just really really prefer the crossbow so it is completely up to you what you want to use. Once you have the crossbow all you have to do from here when you hop into a game is get PhD flopper as it will protect you from explosive damage. Get Quick Revive, Stamina Up, Speed Cola, and Jug. I know this is a lot of perks, but they will be all essential to make your life easier inside of tier 3. From here, you want to pack a punch your weapon only one tier. That's all you need. Pack a punch the crossbow just once. Once you have this pack a punch, it will now shoot three arrows, which will make it really effective. So you can basically spam the explosive around you three times, and the explosive rate on them isn't super fast, but it is still pretty good. And lastly, just level it up to green rarity. All of this you can do instantly when you spawn into the game. Another thing that I really recommend for you to have is triple armor. The reason you want triple armor is because those zombies will be really annoying. The way you can actually really easily get triple armor is if you spawn in, collect 2000 points, go over to a buy station, buy a stronghold keycard, go over to a human stronghold, complete it, get the safe open because there is a safe inside of there and inside of that safe you're always guaranteed to get triple armor which is really good and then from here you want to make your way into tier 3. This is where you kind of combine all of those things that I mentioned together. The combination of all of the perks will make you really fast with reloading and running out the zombies and not having that extra health and also not take any explosive damage but on top of this if you spam the crossbow as much as possible it will be really really easy to take out those zombies another thing is definitely play with a headset you'll be able to hear dogs behind you and just overall have better sense of the environment another thing that you could utilize is using field upgrades so personally i use the energy mine and also you could use molotovs for lethals and for tacticals potentially a monkey bomb but preferably decoys or stims stuff that could essentially get you out of sticky situations or regen you really fast and then from here what you want to do is run around and accept quests but the one that you want to get is specifically the cargo mission. You won't always have the cargo mission spawn in, so there's a really easy way to force spawn it. The way you do it is you accept contracts and then cancel them. If you don't know how to accept contracts and cancel them, once you accept a contract, you then go onto your map and hold down, for example, on triangle, and this will cancel the contract. Whatever it is on your console, you will probably have to press a button. It should say in the top right corner. The specific mission that will allow you to most of the time activate that cargo mission is getting the escort mission. The escort mission doesn't always spawn it but you can also force spawn it by accepting different contracts and abandoning them and then you will most likely get the chance of getting the cargo mission. And from here the way I really like doing this is once I accept this contract I instantly run down this path and then jump
jump off of this ledge and parachute all the way down and this will allow me to land straight outside of the garage door and then kill the zombies around the place with either the energy mine or the crossbow and blow up the zombies all around the area and then get into the vehicle as safely as possible make sure there is no zombies around the place and from here take a very easy and simple path over to delivering the cargo from this mission you can get every single schematic that is located in this area and also those wonder weapon cases from the wunderwaffe wonder weapon case to the ray gun wonder weapon case and lastly the scorcher wonder weapon case or just overall get some really rare acquisitions and it's really easy to farm you can also complete the weapon stash missions which is also a really easy one to do in tier 3 but it does require you to run around more and lastly also doing the outlast one is pretty easy but i wouldn't recommend doing the bounty missions as they are really challenging to do them inside of this area you can just simply farm the cargo mission and again all those schematics are located in specific tiers of the map so if there are someone that you haven't found either they are located in a different location or you also might perhaps not have them because they are in the missions themselves anyway hopefully this breakdown of how to get these schematics what missions to complete the best strategy did come in helpful i tried to delve into possibly everything that i have learned over my time playing this game i've already two days gathered on the game and i have been grinding it non-stop trying to gather all the schematics find the best strategies for you to play this game and i will be making way more guides on this probably in the future as there will be better and better methods so again if you're brand new here be sure to subscribe run the rotating that 50k thank you so much for the love and attention that the channel has been getting join our discord server drop a like at the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace out